Hi, it's Melissa and I'm back with another layout for the latest reveal over at Let's Get Sketchy. So here's the sketch and it's by Letitia and when I first saw it I was a bit intimidated by it because it really leads and directs me to do a lot of mixed media which is something that I don't do that often. Um, I certainly dabble in you know the packaging technique and dropping mist and I love my India ink and I also love my watercolours, but when I looked at this one, I knew I wanted to push myself and get the gesso out and really try and see what I could do. So, using my August hip kit again, because I'm wanting to get it used up, and the sketch showed a doily, so I've pulled a white one and a gold one, and I decided that the gold wasn't really the right shade of gold that would go with this kit, so I've gone with the white one. And here I'm just using an old credit card and some gesso, and just getting it down, um, trying not to have too many kind of um, lines from the credit card, but I'm just wanting to put it there. And the extra I'm just using in my Bible, my journaling Bible, and I just showed you that because, in case you're wondering what I do, I had found a scripture that I wanted to do some journaling on, so I've just put that extra gesso in there. And now I'm doing what I've done probably with most of the layouts that I've made with this kit. I'm backing my photo with some of that beautiful gold polka dot vellum. It's just absolutely stunning and yeah, it's just amazing. So this is a photo of Azaria and one um, day in winter it was a big snowstorm and we got a dump right down. So we went over to our to shop my husband's parents. I was going to say my husband's in-laws, so it would be my parents. Went over to my husband's parents' place and they have quite a large resident, um, rural residential property is what I'm trying to say and because I used to own a farm in Southland they still have their four-wheeler motorbike and they've got a little sled and they just hook up the sled with a rope to the four-wheeler and we tow the kids around and we have a go as well it's heaps of fun and so I captured some photos and I love the look of delight on the Zaria's face in this one and so I knew that that deserved a page on its own. I've got quite a lot of photos from that day and I'm going to do probably a mini album or pocket page with those photos. So I'm just building some layers here and I'll be honest I really struggled to do this layering. Layering used to be my go-to technique and it's strange isn't it that when you stop doing something for a while you find it a bit hard to start again. So it's just a bit of mucking around. I wanted to be able to see the feather that that um yellow feather on that um, Happy Things paper by Pink Fresh Studio but I also wanted to see the triangles in the Amy Tangerine paper and so that's why I'm just fussing a bit with making sure I can and I'm roughing up my edges because I don't want super clean lines because the background is going to be quite messy so while I was waiting for the gesso to dry I just used a piece of white 12 by 12 American Crafts cardstock and just used it as if it was the piece just to see what this will all look like and so I'm just positioning my doily behind it and then working out how many papers I want to put behind and I'm not measuring I'm just rough cutting and I'm happy with the way that looks and this paper in particular would normally stay quite clean and simple to me but if I rough up the edges it gives it a bit of distressing and makes it fit with the rest of the layout so I'm trying not to overthink it, except for those two pieces of paper, and just trying to get my layers down. Sometimes I find it easy to staple if I know exactly where I want something. So I wasn't quite happy with the placement there, so I'm going again. I've been scrapbooking a lot lately, and I think I've probably got, I don't know, a quarter of the kit to go before I'm done. And as usual, I'll, I'll share my colour kit or layout share video at the end. So as you can see, a lot of fussing going on with this one. It's a beautiful spring day here today. It's Monday and I'm meant to be working right now, but I know that this sketch is going to go live tonight, so I wanted to get this voiceover done and have it all set to go so that when it goes live, I can upload this to my channel as well. So... I can absolutely see why everyone gets into planning, into, um, as in planner planning. <laughs> um, 
I actually, I, I haven't, but I can totally see why, because with so much going on in life, it's definitely would make it easier to see it all in front of you every day. So now I'm putting my doily down and using double-sided tape as always. And it's at this point I look at it on the white paper and think, wow, well, I wish I'd actually done that now, but anyway. I purposefully wanted to use that bold Amy Tangerine pink paper and just push myself and see what I could do with it. So now I'm cutting out the little, um, it's like a tag really, a little subtitle on that piece with the bike. And that says Sweet Ride, and I thought that went really well because although it's not a bike, she's having a fun ride on the sled. And I've just stapled that on. And now I'm just lifting up some of my papers, just for a bit of movement. And once again, having a look through the embellishments. This is how I store my smaller embellishments. And that's the crepe paper wonder ephemera. And I'm just looking through that. And now I'm looking through the pink fresh bits and pieces that we got. I got the embellishment kit as well because I love having extra. And those are rubber charms, which are fun to work with. And as you can see, I haven't used many, so I really do want to push myself and get them used up. I love puffy stickers. I could just um, just have a whole few more packets of those as well. So I've gone with that little pink one that says Choose Happy. And I was going to add that little yellow heart. And you'll see that, yeah, I moved that off because it doesn't look quite right. But I love that um, this is my fave chipboard by Dear Lizzie, and I like it because it is plain and white, and I love the black font on it. And I think it goes well with tying the doily into this layout, because as you're about to see, I'm not going to keep that gesso just plain like that. I'm going to come in with um, some more layers. So at this point, I wanted to use watercolours, and I thought that would work quite well. And I decided I would add lots of water and drip them down from the top and so that's what I'm doing there and I'm, I don't do this do it that often so it's just trial and error and I don't have a heat gun so everything I do has to dry in the sun or just dry in its own time so I wasn't really that happy with how this was looking and once I had Sort of dabbed it with a paper towel you really couldn't see it so I decided to use my Ranger Distress Ink and it's picked raspberry and it came from I think the March hip kit we've got a yellow one and this pink one and now this is the intensity that I want and I'm a lot happier with it and I love the messy technique the messy look that the packaging technique gives it I know I've said it before but it creates a look that I could never do myself with a brush and being such an amateur with mixed media there's absolutely no way so I'm really happy with how that looks and here I'm just trying to work out what I'm going to have. In the sketch it showed like a, um, a strip of, I don't know, paper or anything really going to the left and I did consider using that grey paper but in the end I'm going to go with that piece of that vellum. So now I'm using some gold poster paint and I got it from our local I guess, dollar store and it's an odd gold really it's not um metallic it's i don't know how to describe it but anyway i'm keen to use it and it takes forever to dry so i've just got my scrap card stock behind it and i'm just literally smearing it on with a spatula and trying not to think too hard about it i'm just wanting a little bit of the gold sheen although i say it's not metallic it's still definitely shiny so there it is dry and now i'm working out where to put all my elements and I'm loving how that's looking and I did wonder whether double-sided tape would stick very well on this background and it did so it's great of course I could have added some hot glue or some Tombow to assist in holding that down and I think I am am I or aren't I it's been a while since I made this I've actually been scrapping a lot lately so always fun always fun to use up products and it's at the point where I'm ordering some new photos so that's awesome. Now it's really good that the double sided tape was able to stick the spellum down too and you can't even see it. Often you can so that's always good. So yeah I didn't add any Tombow and yeah, it holds really well. So rather than cut that doily I've decided just to fold it and stick it down so just using some double sided tape 
and then you'll see that I'll just get some washi tape and put that over the top. So when I put it in my page protector, I really don't want it lifting up. And so that's a um, washi that I hardly ever use. So, nearly finished. I'm um, now coming in with some India ink because the sketch showed some big splatters. And I'm coming to the end of this. And I was interested how it would go on top of vellum. Took a lot of extra drying time and it did kind of warp it a little bit, but because this is a mixed media page, I'm happy with how it turns out. And now it's just a case of doing the title and my journal. And so I wanted to call it Delight because that really is the look on her face was just utter sheer delight. And I'm using these beautiful Dear Lizzie Gold Thickers, the foam. And they don't photograph that great. You can't really see the metallic of them, but um, in person they're absolutely beautiful. And I'm just adding my journal in. And then all I think I do is come in with some sequins off that um, crepe paper wonder as um, sequins and enamel dots, and that's the layout done. Um, this is a different layout for me. I wouldn't say it's one of my favourites, but it's definitely experimental, and it's always fun to try a new technique and push yourself. And so I'm glad that I made it, and I'm glad that it captures Azaria with that delightful look in her face. So I've got a close-up coming. I don't think I show putting the sequins on. No, I don't. So that's the final layout. And do come over to Let's Get Sketchy and have a go and link up. I'll be back again soon. See you later.